Max Townsend leaving a Cleveland County courtroom on the seventh day of testimony in his trial. No comments at all, sir. This is your chance to share your side of things. Townsend is facing three counts of second degree murder and several counts of leaving the scene of an accident involving fatalities and injuries. Townsend driving his truck through a team of more high school runners in February of 2020, killing Euridia Martinez, Rachel Freeman, and Colby Crum, and injuring four other students. On Thursday morning, the state playing phone calls that Townsend made from inside the Cleveland County Jail after the crash. In the calls, Townsend is heard saying, how did this happen to me? I might have been behind the wheel, but it wasn't me. He then started quoting scripture and talking about Satan, saying he is as real as God, again telling the person on the other line, it wasn't me. In another call, when asked if he was high on THC, Townsend said, I don't know, also saying I had two beers. The prosecution resting Thursday afternoon. While the state has maintained that Townsend was under the influence of alcohol and THC at the time of the crash with a blood alcohol level of .068, just under the legal limit, the defense claims he choked on a Red Bull he was drinking, leaving him unconscious. Thursday afternoon, the defense calling a pharmacology and forensic toxicology expert to the stand. He testified that a .068 blood alcohol level can affect people differently depending on body size size and how much the person has eaten while drinking. He told the jury that in his professional opinion, the alcohol level was not enough to explain the accident, saying he believes Townsend's claim that he passed out is plausible. But during cross-examination, the doctor told prosecutors he was not aware witnesses have testified during the trial that Townsend was alert with his eyes open at the time saying he would have liked to have had that information. Now, after that testimony, the defense called up to the stand Townsend's sister, and then during cross-examination, the prosecution pulled up phone records that showed a text message Townsend had sent his sister the night before the crash, crash which, as you'll remember, that was the day Townsend's son died. In that text message, he told his sister that he did not feel he was okay to drive that night. Again, this is the night before. Now, after that, the prosecution called up a rebuttal witness, which was the lead detective on the case, and he talked about interviewing Townsend's sister shortly after the crash, and he apparently asked her several times if she received this text message, if he had told her in any way, shape, or form that he didn't feel he was okay to drive that night. And she allegedly told him, based on his testimony, she never got that text. She never heard anything like that from him. So when the state asked her, was she protecting Townsend by lying to this officer, this detective, she said, I don't know. Closing arguments begin here at the Cleveland County Courthouse tomorrow morning at 9. We'll be here. Reporting live in Norman, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's.